Could machines learn to walk? Legs have their advantages, especially on uneven terrain, but scientists have struggled for years to find a way to create in robots something we take for granted. To help robots get on their feet, researchers at the Darmstadt University of Technology have been learning exactly how people and animals move. At this gate lab we're capturing the kinematics of movements, but we're also able to record forces, meaning how much force you exert on the ground when you move. The idea is to create robots that can mimic humans as closely as possible. To do that we need to understand basic human locomotion, and based on this data gathered here we can design new robots. The European Union Research Project gathered experts in neuroscience, biology and robotics from five countries. Studying human volunteers and animals, biotechnicians built a computer database that serves as a reference for robotic engineers. We use the motion capture system and it works with reflective markers on the skin of the animal or the human. The cameras flash infrared light with a frequency of 250 Hertz. This gets reflected by the markers and recorded. The software then makes a 3D model. Researchers want to better understand the transition between walking upright and running on all fours. This should help to make robots that can move one way or another depending on the environment. The locomotion of humans and animals has evolved over millions of years. And it's not so easy to replicate, as we can see in robotics so far. But the more we study humans and animals, the closer we can get to replicating their movements. Robotic engineers test their new models using a specially developed robotic construction kit. It's a light, bendable skeleton that can be easily rearranged in various ways. Each of its springy legs is controlled by a microchip that can be programmed for different walks. If we want to have, have robots as helpers in our homes and, and being part of our world in a, in a helping way, but they need to be able to walk and maneuver in our environment. And, well, we have uh, robots on wheels and, and they're quite good if, if the terrain is laid out for them, but when they get to a staircase, they're kind of lost. So in order to get them really out there in the environment, they need to be able to walk in our environment. After all, it's not just for robots. Artificial limbs that move in a lifelike manner can help people who've lost their legs walk again. With the robot platform, we first want to understand the basic functions of human and animal movement. But later on, this technology may be used to guide the design process towards more functional prosthesis or orthosis, for instance. This may be a long journey, but it all begins with a single step. 